Welcome back to Los Digitals. Episode go. 3. Today, we have a lot of crazy things going on. We're going to talk about some hot topics, crazy drama. So let's get right into it because... Wait, 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 wait. It's going down. It's going episode. down this recently. This is our first episode in Laredo, our Ooh. new home. Our new home, our new state. Um, <laughs> The cricket. Yeah, but we're in Laredo, Texas now, and we got some crazy stuff happening. Not in Laredo, actually in Laredo too, but we'll talk about that in the future. Yeah. Um, but let's uh, let's get right into it. There's a lot of cool stuff happening. All right, so um, I'm pretty sure everybody has heard of this, but there's a big feud going on all over the media. So, um, the yeah. feud is between between Selena Gomez, Haley Bieber, Kylie Jenner. I guess like everybody who was involved in that, like Justin Bieber, who else? Kendall? Was it Kendall? Kendall? Too? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. So what's happening? All right, so there's a lot to go over. That's why. So basically, um, Selena Gomez had posted a picture of her um, laminating her eyebrows too much, which I get, like I just it means like she messed up her eyebrows, I guess. Mm-hmm. And then Kylie Jenner proceeds to like post on her story. That she put, she posted a picture of herself and then like she put a caption that was an accident and then like she posted it and like then, bullying her. Yeah, like bullying her. But like she did she tag Selena? She didn't tag her. She just did no. it like kind of like oh let me post this. Oh like, like oh like a like a little back. okay like yeah. a little sneak this. Oh. And then the next. Why the would next, she do that? Okay, keep going. Sorry. Exactly. Why would she? And then the next story was her on Facetime with Haley Bieber, and she like they were posting their eyebrows like they were on a facetime call and they put their eyebrows in the camera and they took a screenshot and posted it and if y'all don't know um selena gomez used to say justin bieber and Haley bieber is currently married to justin bieber Ooh. yep so they didn't That's think nobody would notice um i'm guessing because like why would you post them like that you're grown doing that i Too wouldn't that even mold do that to be doing all jazzy that. wouldn't even do that and they're posting that bullying her like she didn't do anything. Basically. So what happened? Did the people went crazy. People yes. went crazy. They caught on like quickly, quickly, and it just took over. Kylie like, went everything. down in like so many followers. She used to be like the most followed on Instagram. Kylie yeah. Jenner. Yeah, yeah, she was the most followed person on Instagram. And now it's Selena. It's Gomez. Selena. Oh wait, so Selena is now has more is number one followed yeah. on Instagram yeah. after this. After this. After incident. this, yes. First wow. it was Kylie Jenner, and then. Do you guys Kylie follow Jenner. Selena? I follow Selena. What about you, Jess? <laughs> Should I follow her too? Follow her. All right, follow I'm, her. I'm all follow right now. We gotta get her to like 400 million or something. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <about videos. laughs> Selena Gomez, Selena. we just followed you. So there's also this like thing now they made Team Selena, Team Haley, and um Team Selena just like taking over the road. And there's even celebrities getting into it. Like I think who was it, Dwayne? Dwayne Johnson? I have no idea, but I know a lot of celebrities unfollowed Haley because they're on Team Selena. Yeah. Oh, like actually, oh, wow. Like actually this, unfollowed This is a whole them. movement type like of thing. It's a like movement. Lana yeah. Del Rey unfollowed her. Um, Taylor Swift. I can't By the way, is her post still up? Like the, the laminated? Was it a story? You laminate? could find it on TikTok. Just yeah, you'll, put probably, like, you'll probably okay, find well, it. I'll find it later then. I'm scrolling yeah. through Instagram too much right now. <laughs> okay, but... um. So what's happening? Like, so Justin Bieber, what does Justin Bieber have to say about this? He's he hasn't he hasn't said anything about it. Yeah, he's he doesn't care. Or did he? I don't think so. I think I people were heard. saying he made a post like, like defending, like not, def- but like defending Haley in a way, or like. I mean, obviously he got to support his woman. Yeah, but yeah. people were saying that Haley wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, <laughs> Justin it. Yeah, yeah that she wrote it. Like <laughs> they're like Justin doesn't even type like this. Like. She, it's Haley. We we know it's you, Haley. That's funny. <laughs> it's so funny, bro. <laughs> but I do see that. I do see that happening. Where like Haley, like, give me your phone. Oh, your phone. have y'all heard that Haley announced that she's pregnant? I don't know if it's true. Do you, is it true? I don't know. I didn't even know about that. They yeah. don't have any kids right now, right? No. By the way, what does Haley do? Uh, who knows? She I think model? she models. Oh, okay, I can, I see it. I think, ju- I does, think Justin so. Bieber's into models. It sounds like that. Apparently, she used to model for Guess and Ralph Lauren. Ooh. Used to? Yeah. Used to. Yeah, yeah all right. Until, until she got Justin Bieber. What happened, Haley? Oh. You realized she was ugly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's cute. I mean, I think I think her and Justin, Excuse like... Excuse me, you should not like, be calling other women cute. 
cute. Like she's, she's. <laughs> I'm not saying that. Come on, come on. Mama's Especially not Haley Bieber. All right. Yeah. The team selena let's go team selena for real so are we ordering shirts for the next episode team selena we should we should we should if it's still going <laughs> we on we should we'll make a shirt and how long do you think this feud's gonna last i don't it's know it's been going on for like what two weeks now mm-hmm. yeah i honestly think it's a marketing scheme There's a lot so of these celebrities do this like they'll f- get on a feud intentionally they all plan it together and then all of a sudden everybody's speaking about them it could be that's true yeah. because i mean like it's just everywhere. Like, I wouldn't even, like, follow, like, with what they're doing. And it was just popping up. And at first, I was so confused. I was like, what even is this? It's probably, like, a, like it's probably, like, um people are reaching. Like, it's not even true. But then people started coming off with, like, proof, like, of just things. And then um even, like, Selena's aware of it. Well, like, I'm pretty, like, she, of course, she's aware, aware of it. But, like, somebody had posted a video, like, saying, oh, Selena doesn't deserve this, like, She's, like, a really kind, like, soul. She's really, like, a sweetheart. And she yeah. commented on the post, like, oh, I love you. I love you. Thank you. Like, something like that. Like, oh, wow. So she knew she was being bullied. Yeah, she, she knows knew she's she... being bullied. Wow. And she, she, like, she even tried to, like, um, bring peace to, like, the situation, like, to mend it. Mm-hmm. Even though, like, she didn't even start it or anything. But, like, um, Kylie Jenner had posted on a comment on TikTok, like, you guys are reaching, um, like basically saying like there's nothing in there like oh yeah they're like like she didn't throw shade like you guys are just coming up with stuff and then even selena responded to that like oh yeah we're we are fans of each other like there's no hate here yeah but like there there was there was hate but like the kind soul that she is she just doesn't want to get canceled like (sighs) so selena has let me see how many followers she has now kindly come on you had to go and do that bro how many how many subscribers does she have now on Instagram? She's number one follow, three hundred ninety six million. Dethrone Kylie Jenner. Yeah, and Kylie Jenner Real quick, has less than a see, week. Kylie Jenner, which I don't follow, she has three hundred eighty million. So she has sixteen more million followers. Sixteen more million. Damn. That means she gained like so much because if of Kylie was winning, and now. She, Selena's up by 16 no, million. Just imagine, like, all the people, like, actually. Kylie lost so many followers as well. Yeah, like, they, she just, lost so many followers before that. So people unfollowed Kylie, went and followed Selena, and then, like, a whole movement of people were like, go follow Selena. Like, the way yep. you guys told me to follow Selena right now? Yeah. People yes. are doing that. If April, exactly. April made me follow her. <laughs> She's like, wow. go follow her. No. Have y'all seen those TikToks about Haley? Like, they, like, make, like, jokes about Haley, like, copying her? Like copying Selena. Those aren't jokes. Those are like, but like do it in like a bully way. Like they make fun of her and all. Yeah. So it gets like it's It's actually it's creepy to think of because like imagine somebody (laughs) like saying what you say, like believing what you believe, and just Mm. like trying to be you in a way, but like sneaky. Not even sneaky, because. So what? Like, what are you talking about? Like, explain this to me. Okay, so basically, um, um, how do you call it? There's just so many. How do you call it? Situations? Not situations. Things that like Selena has said. Yeah, like Selena done. has said and Haiti Bieber have like has copied them. And at first it was like if it was like, oh my bitch, it's a coincidence, but like yeah. people have come out with so much proof and like they put it together and like with timelines and stuff, and it's just like there's no way that like it, give me one example of something because just so I understand what you're talking about. Yeah, I was gonna But um yeah. so there was an interview where Selena Gomez was like I mean the interviewer asked Selena Gomez, like, what do you want people to know you for? Or, like, what do you want people to know about you? And she's like, oh, I want people to know my, like, my heart, you know? Mm-hmm. And then somebody asked Hailey Bieber in an interview, what do you want people to know about, <laughs> like, about... Don't tell me she said the exact same thing. She said the exact same thing. <laughs> like, why would she do that? The exact same thing. She's a fan. That's like, she's, she's a, a fan. fan. She's, she's a, a fan. fan. <laughs> Uh, uh, Selena, yeah. Selena probably feels bad for Haley. She probably does. Right I mean, does, I would. But then there's like even more. So Selena has a a cooking show mm-hmm. where she used to. It was called um Selena Gomez plus Chef, and she would just like have guests with her and like have people with her, and and then Haley Bieber came out with one too. <laughs> no way. And then like I I know like everybody calls her like grandma, like mom, like pa, yeah, pa, or, like ma. Mm-hmm. But Selena Gomez had like her her grandpa on the show. Yeah. And then Haley Bieber had like hers on the show too. <laughs> like, like 
Either they got the same producer, which is probably somebody that Justin hired to produce Selena's and then to produce Haley's, and the guy's just rewriting the scripts. Yeah, not even something. rewriting them word not for re- word right there. <laughs> and then um and the tattoo. Tell them about the tattoo. Oh yeah, um, Selena Gomez has a tattoo behind her ear, and it's like yeah. I think it's a what is it a G? I have no. It's idea. like in a, a letter. But Haley Bieber has the exact same one, like on her oh ear. Oh my goodness! Like behind her ear. That's so creepy. That's <laughs> Haley Bieber. Crazy. What's up? She already got Justin. Why is she still coming for Selena? Yeah, like, like, and then like, there has been on um, proof of like Haley Bieber being a fan of Justin before like she even knew him or like knew him personally. Because like, there's videos of paparazzi and she's there in the background, like no as way. one of the little fans, <laughs> and it's just so funny. Like she's just there, like fangirling. Like that was like when Justin and Selena were together, right? Yeah, and they were together. Like, yeah, like she, she would was, text like, behind. Um, Mm-hmm. selena and justin bieber fan pages like oh where where are they like what hotel are they staying in like just trying to find out information like she was a fan wow what it's is what does selena it. gomez do like sorry just educate me here selena gomez she's she an was actor. an actor she made music yeah i don't know if she still does she like oh, oh yeah really? she's oh, wow. an yeah yeah and right That's now she really has cool. a i think a makeup brand Oh yeah, What's rare it? rare beauty. Rare beauty. Oh, then and then Kylie has a makeup brand. Yeah, Kylie. Kiss oh, me. Kylie Jenner has a makeup brand. Selena Gomez has a makeup brand. That's why she attacked the whole makeup thing, the oh, beauty that's thing. So true. I didn't yeah, think about that's that. what happened. I didn't about that either. So there's an, um, they're trying. Oh, okay, that's I so see, true. You I, might have just brought us something new because I yeah. haven't heard about that. At all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's figure out Hold like up. who owns these companies i bet you the shareholders are the same people i i wouldn't be surprised if the shareholders that own these two companies i know kylie owns majority of company but the other shareholders probably own That'd a little be, bit of selena's and a little bit of kylie's bam let's a- make more money April was all like i want to get everything that all of selena's products i want them. i'm like you don't even wear makeup but like <laughs> most of the time. there you go that's that proves the theory that literally proves the theory but, that this thing is causing people to actually be passionate about. We're going to make Selena the number one everything. But, but I want to buy all the products. I don't care. Dad, even before the situation, many people had started buying like rare beauty products because like her blushes were going like viral on TikTok mm-hmm. and like they were always sold out. Yeah. So, like even before the whole thing, it was like. Yeah. yeah, but now April that doesn't wear makeup. What's the buy? Wants, wants all the products, right? Yeah, right? Like, buying she, She's like, I want all of it. I'm like. Huh? I was, I was so confused. Like, it's just kind of expensive. I'm like, no, no. <laughs> yeah, because the blush is like twenty dollars. I think I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. What's the name of the? It's called Rare Beauty. Rare, yeah. Rare Let me search up the product. This segment was brought to you by Rare, Rare Beauty. Beauty. <laughs> Go cops. Your sponsor us. blush. Yeah, hey Selena, you're out there. You want to sponsor a podcast? Digitals. Yeah, those digitals. If you want to sponsor us, go ahead. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's twenty three dollars. No, but then there was also this. Um, one video it's because um selena gomez and taylor swift are like best friends and um it was Haley bieber with this other guy like at an award show and they're like talking about taylor swift like you know announcing her and mm-hmm. Haley bieber like made a face like uh, like on live tv like national tv she like um made it known that she doesn't like taylor swift and then selena gomez commented on that tiktok my best friend is the best in the game something like yeah she said that so, like, she knows that Haley's, like, being a bully. Like, she's been a bully. Wow. Yeah. There's, like, some tic- like a TikTok I saw already today. Like, it was, like, Haley like, looking so rude, like, at the runway models. And then Selena, like, has, like, the face, like, like she's, like, amazed at by them. Mm. Like, Haley just looks at them. And, like, like I admires them. No, no, like, I'm talking about Haley right now. Oh, you thought, thought you were talking about Selena. Okay. Well, yeah, but Selena looks like she is, like, admiring them. But then Selena. But, okay, now you're <laughs> So but now Haley is like Haley just looks at them like with a mean face and maybe that's just her face but <laughs> maybe that's just her face <laughs> but she is Selena. a moral runway they know they look like they're mad running the, 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 around the runway true yeah but Selena just like looked at them like like they were like the most gorgeous person on earth mm. she's very humble yeah yeah she, but it's it's scary because like at first like you know how they say like, oh, she was like how she was copying her. Yeah. At first it was like, like there's no way because like, but then like so much proof just came out and it's just like, 
Yeah, she's definitely a fan. <laughs> like, definitely. Should we move on to the next topic? The next topic? Yeah, let's do the next topic, yeah. All right, so... What do we got next? The next topic is... Okay, AI? so this is kind of getting, like, scary because people are using an AI voice generator to make celebrities say, like, things that they want them to say for them, like, fans. And they'll pay to get it done. Like, there was this one of Ice Spice. Like, she's an upcoming, like, rapper music creator she just came out yeah i don't know yeah just. and they made a video like of her voice like the generator of her voice saying like that she's gonna beat up jojo siwa and she's gonna like she doesn't like her she doesn't like it like she's annoying and all that she's like talking crap about you her could come back like a boomerang and yeah jojo siwa has this song called boomerang and then she's like i'm gonna beat her ass so hard that she's not gonna come back like a boomerang this time so it's like oh. so realistic like it uses like the real like real life stuff like yeah. her music it's illegal too. that can get somebody killed that can get somebody killed and all the comments on the video were like oh why does she hate everybody like she's barely becoming big and she's already causing problems with people for no reason like and then they're like why she hates everyone she probably hates us too and they're like there's no reason for her like to be doing this and it's just like she didn't actually do wow. it. It's an AI voice generated. Like, did she specify like that? It was the person that did this. Did they specify that it was AI? She, or? she, did, they did put it in the caption. But at first, like you know, when the caption is long, it's like it says click it, more to yeah. like. Oh yeah, rest. no, it's and like especially if it's a real. It was Instagram real. Like can't even read the captions. Yeah, nowadays. and but then it was like um go to go to Twitter to see the to see their fight. That's what the like the initial caption was, and that's what showed up. Like oh, right there. so people thought it was real, real. People thought it was real. And once you press more, and it's like clarified, like, oh, this is not real. And then, like, in the comments, they're like, you could get sued for this. This is illegal. Yeah. And they're like, I think oh, I can, clarified it. Yeah, no, nah, I think clar clarification needs to be like really like, clear. Right there. Yeah, yeah but um, when you create, like, if you go to 11 Labs, which is the company that does these mm -hmm. uh, voiceovers, you upload like a minute of your voice and it'll recreate your voice instantly. It takes about that's, 10 seconds. That's crazy. So then you upload whatever script you want. With that script, it'll recreate your voice. And then you can tell it to say, like, in a comedic way, in a mad way. Like, you can tell it however you want it to, to uh, recreate your voice, right? Yeah. But when you upload a new voice, it, it there's a disclaimer there that says that you must have permission from the person that you're impersonating. Yeah, Getting, yeah like getting permission so so yeah they can they, you can go you can, this they can somebody can take legal action against you yeah and like some like it also happened to many other yeah like jen ortega no snap no snap and they're like those were like a little bit less harmless but they're like saying they're like editors on tiktok like they do um edits for people and they were like this person is the best editor and it like sounds so yeah. real i'm like damn like these celebrities are acknowledging like these like little tiktok accounts and, and then like yeah i read the comments and then they're they're like oh this is not their actual voice like it's fake yeah and i'm like what look i'll show you the one of ice spice like it sounds real it sounds so it sounds i don't know so who ice spice is so she's like it's on the scene like that boy's a liar she's in the scene. i don't know who that is in it. <laughs> i'm huh? old guys I'm she's old, a, I'm an old digital. You know she's a, a new female rapper. Yeah, right? that boy's yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Female rapper. Look. Up and coming female like, rapper. Okay, look. This no, is. I don't like JoJo Siwa, but fuck that bitch. I'm like, sorry, but I'm gonna beat that bitch so hard that she isn't gonna come back like a boomerang this time. <laughs> See? Like, it sounds so real. It sounds so real, yeah. <laughs> and then Jen Ortega, look. Um, I think the best editor is TXM Edits. I think that's right. Right? That's creepy. Like that that, right? Oh, oh, crazy. this one's funny. This one's funny. It's a I'm about to do one with The Rock. <laughs> There's really good ones <laughs> of like Joe Rogan, oh, Elon Musk. The, oh, yeah. The, the they're game, like playing the video ones? games together. Yeah, yeah yes. they're really funny. Yeah. Even Queen those Elizabeth, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I see that one. Well, you can even do one now where like it literally moves the mouth. Of like the, you can just stand straight looking at the camera, not saying anything for like 10 minutes or like two minutes or whatever. And then you can have the AI recreate your mouth and recreate the whole script that's, with your voice or anybody's crazy. voice that's in scary. that case yeah honestly you know what's even crazier i heard this today there's actually a website artificial intelligence based website where you just literally upload one of your photos it could be like a selfie and it'll find every photo ever uploaded to the internet of you of you that's crazy that's cr that is that's, that's crazy scary. Right? that's scary so i tried it did it, it found it? photos 
from when I was in high school. No oh, way. Hell no. <laughs> 20, show me. Two years ago. Show me. Hell no. Well, I, I got to show you on the computer, Mom, but I'll show you after. Yeah. <laughs> That's scary. Um, yeah, that there's is a, scary. There, there's another AI website that generates faces that are not real people but look like real oh, yeah. people. Yeah, that's uh, kind of like that. Um, you know that robot or like which one? Megan, Kayla. No, <laughs> she's like little. Mc- I don't know something like that. Little Michaela. Yeah, but she's fake and like she's been on the internet for a long time and like oh, she, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, she has followers. Like if she's like a real person, like yeah. If she, oh, okay, ooh. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, you know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, ooh. and she looks like so fake. I mean, so real, but then like you can so tell fake. she's fake. Yeah, but well, one of my thesis for like future personal brands. Is that you're not gonna be able to distinguish whether that person's an actual person, or is an actual made-up personal brand yeah. with artificial intelligence? So, I think that's gonna happen pretty soon. pretty soon. Yeah, well, like we're just gonna be managing like business thousands of personal after brands. That episode. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you do come up with this in the next couple of months, make sure you give us some credit. Yeah. Please. All right. Yeah, let's move on to the next next topic. We can we can we should do a whole episode on artificial intelligence. By yeah, the way, yeah, because I, I think that'd be nice. It's just like it's a lot of things going on, accelerating so fast. Mm. Correct. Like it started from well, from when I first like kind of heard it. Well, uh, heard of it was like the art, or like the that like creates all these images for you, mm-hmm. like mid journey. Yeah, and I was like, that's the first time I heard of it, and now it's like creating voices. Or I don't know how long voices. that's been around. Yeah, no, it's if that's what we have access to. Imagine what the government has access to. Yeah. And then, like, imagine what we'll have access to yeah. soon. There's a version of, like, there's a, there's this little graph that shows, like, uh, the version of what we're using right now, mm-hmm. right? And then next to it is, like, this big, like, so there's, like, a little circle like this. Uh-huh. That's the version we're using that represents everything we're using for AI. The next version is, like, a thousand times bigger and more powerful. Damn. And that's coming soon. That's the next. Yeah. Coming I mean, up. It's upcoming. Yeah. So... Yeah, AI definitely. We got to do a full episode. We should do the next episode on AI. Okay, we'll research All right. for that. We got, we got you guys. We're gonna bring you got the you. best in AI. So stay tuned on that. The next one. We'll have some conspiracy theories about it too. Yeah. All, All right, right. Let's let's move on to the next one. This next topic is pretty. All right. Let's let's do one more and then we're done. Okay. Do we do one more? Okay. So then we should. Choose. We're at twenty three. All right. Let's do seven more minutes and we're done. Okay. I'm gonna. Which one did you want to talk about that? Oh, about the f- the family? The family. I was going to say, should we choose that one? With the bear? Yeah. Yeah. You want to do that one? That one's short. Yeah. Point. Okay. So, basically, this um this family thought they were raising a dog, and it was 250, pound, 250 pounds, and they were like, oh, yeah, we're raising a dog, and it's just so big. But it ended up being a bear. So, like. How did they find that it was a bear? They found out because I it was like eating too much, right? <laughs> it was like they're like, "Damn, we just something. bought a bag of food. What happened to it?" Yeah, like they didn't realize. And they, they were, were like, "Oh, no what's bear? up with this?" No, they didn't. Like, so the story goes that a Chinese family raises a dog for two years. Yeah, after two years, two years, they believe it's a what kind of dog? I think a Tibetan must a Tibetan massive. mastiff. Yeah, a what a Tibetan mastiff? Tibetan Mastiff. Mastiff. Mastiff put so this Chinese family is racing a Tibetan Mastiff for two years, which they got off the fair, right? The story is that they went to the fair, they yeah. bought they bought the actual Mastiff. <laughs> they raced it for two years. After two years, they realized that it's not a dog. It's a bear. A bear. It took them two years to realize. That's, that's so, that's like... I feel so, like I would, you should have realized that. That's quick. adorable. Well, I read, a, where I read a story once when I was a kid. And I forgot where I read the story. It's probably one of those books, like when you buy off the uh, book fair. Mm-hmm. And one of the stories was super creepy. It was it was about a man that bought a that bought a Chihuahua dog, right? Mm-hmm. He buys a dog and he's like petting it and like brings it to the kids, to the wife. They all love it, right? And he's like, he's, the dog starts acting weird after a few months. Like he can't he can't figure out like why the dog is like weird. So he finally takes it to the veterinarian, and when he takes it to the veterinarian. The vet tells him, well, this is not a dog. It's a rat. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? Ew. That's crazy. Yeah. Are you serious right now? Well, it was a story that I read. I don't know story. how. I think it was I think it was like a, 
a fictional story. Like a comedy kind of. Well, it was it was actually in a scary like a, one of those scary books. Oh, oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. You know what story I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, I do. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, like, how do you not notice? A big your rat. Dog? I'm sorry. This is this is not a dog. You're you've been raising a rat. <laughs> and book fairs had some fire ass books back in the day. They did. I always wanted yeah. that. I chocolate never bought calculator. anything. I wanted the pointer. Yeah, I those were my favorite days, man. The book fair came to town. I was like, I'm getting myself some books today. There was like a book series, super off topic for, from the dog, but there was a book series that was like a collection of like uh, folklore and legends from Texas, like an orange one. Oh. It was really, really, really. You know what I'm talking about? Does it sound familiar? No? <laughs> yeah. oh, it, was, it was badass, man. Like it like it was badass. It had a bunch of like crazy stories and like. Like Rona and like all this other stuff. It was pretty bad. Yeah. I yeah. remember Daddy you got us one. It was about like um like a story of like like Yorona, but it was different. It was about like about a troll. I forgot what it was it's like in the back of my head. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, what uh, is it, Razo? You had bought in it for us. I bought you guys a book at the book fair? Yeah, like you bought like I think you bought us each a book. I got like the rattlesnake, the bubblegum one. Oh yeah, you know that one. Yeah, I got that one, and then it, I think it was either Jenny or Jeffrey that got like the troll one. Uh huh. Or like it was like a what do you call it? it was like a myth legend. It yeah, was like one urban of those legends. Urban legends, and it was yeah. like I remember it used to scare me. My favorite books growing up were like urban legends. All these urban yeah, legends, like it was a cool book. Yeah, w- was riddles, it like a, urban legends. Was it like a troll that lived under a bridge? Yeah, with big feet. I think so, and yeah. like he would take. Kids or no? Yes. Yeah, 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 something like that. Something like that. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> well, back in the mic, there's uh, Josh producing and uh, Razzle, Dazzle. Razzle Dazzle doing all the camera work. So we have to put we're, on we're gonna have him on in the future episodes. So stay tuned yeah. for that as well. Y'all want to do one more topic and we're done? Or you're we're, we're done? You're done, done. done. Topic. All right. By the way, it is one in the morning. It's Jazzy morning. has school in seven hours. Six. I still can't go to school, so pray for me that I get to graduate <laughs> by the end of this year. <laughs> All right, Bye, guys. guys. Thanks you. Thank you for checking this out. Hold and up. Make sure I got you one thing to say. I'll go for it. Go for it. My favorite book. My favorite books from the book fair were the Captain Underpants ones. Oh yeah, you have the whole collection. And the, and the Diary of a Wimpy Kid ones. <laughs> I would have all of them. <laughs> I even had to do it yourself, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Book. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And did, did you ever do it? Kid. I got like it was like. You need to go through life to like finish it. Oh, got it. So you're still on it. Yeah. All right. I don't have it no more. <laughs> but yeah, that's it, guys. All right. Catch Bye. you guys next time. Thank you for Peace. tuning in.